YouTubers, we're at the NAM show, NAM day two. Um, I came yesterday, it was pretty empty yesterday. Um, today is significantly more busy. Um, let's reiterate, none of the top, top peeps are here. No Fender, no Gibson, no Marshall, no PRS, no Two Rock, no Vemuram, no Boss. None of them are here. Um, so let's take a walk around the NAM showroom floor and see what's happening. So, so far this NAM show, um, really only two brands have gotten my attention. Um, one of them is Cornerstone. I just got a Gladio made two weeks ago, uh, and I played their aquarium pedal, which is their new Univibe, and that was awesome. Um, the other brand that's really cool is Analysis Plus cables, and those are the cables that Mayer uses live and in his studio. So hopefully if everything works out, we'll be getting some analysis audio cables for the channel. Let's go see some shredding. Come on, let's go see this. <laughs> That's what Nam's all about, shredding. Reverb always have a pretty big booth here. We're at the Ibanez booth now, and check this out. Oh, the Steve Hydra. Epic. Now we're in the rough part of Nam. The drum section. Make our way now to Celestion and let's see what they got. Well, that was Celestion. Really, really small booth this year. Um, nothing really crazy, but Celestion, in my opinion, are the best speakers.
guys, I guess that concludes NAM 2022. It's now 2.40. I'm gonna make one more stop and then we're heading back home. This stop will be to Acoustic Mecca that is Martin Guitars. guys that's a wrap for name 2022 uh we'll give you some more specs when we get back home well it's been a couple days it's now monday june 6th when i'm recording this um ma'am this year was very different unlike the past four or five names that i've been to um, obviously there's no secret that the big guys, Fender, Marshall, Gibson, PRS weren't there. No boutique amp distribution. They weren't there. Uh, Van Miram weren't there. Two Rock were kind of there. They provided amps to the boutique guitar showcase. Um, JHS weren't there. Keeley weren't there. Wampler, all those people weren't there. Boss weren't there. So, yeah, a lot of big name players out of this NAMM show. But as you saw in the vlog, it was still a fun NAMM show, right? Stuff that I didn't show was like a lot of meeting my friends who are also in the industry. Some that I went to school with, some that don't even live in L.A., people I met through Instagram, all that fun stuff, which is really like the core part of NAMM these days. Um Two highlights, like I talked about in the vlog, was meeting the guys from Cornerstone. Um, I recently picked up a Gladio right here, the Gladio SC, which is awesome, Dumble type pedal in a box, and has the seal of approval from Robin Ford because it's on his board, which is awesome. And then the second great connection I made was with Analysis Plus Cables. Like I talked about in the vlog, um, for those of you that don't know, Analysis Plus cables are what Mayer uses on stage and in the studio. His whole studio is wired with Analysis Plus cables. Um, I got the yellow oval, which is the big, thick studio cable, as well as the Genesis Pure, which is more the live cable, right? L less, how do you call it? Less tight more release on the cable, just more for live use. And that's really it for NAMM Show 2020. You know, um, NAMM 2023 is supposed to be in April. And then by 2024, it goes back to January in the normal setting. But other than that, NAMM was fun. Great seeing friends. Less crowded, which was nice. Not as like Times Square-y as it usually is. Um, but we still got also our like seven, eight miles in each day we went, which was Friday and Saturday, <laughs> which is really fun. So with all that being said, hope you enjoyed this NAM vlog. It's fun. We'll get back to our normally scheduled programming soon with lessons and all that fun stuff. And until next time, I will see you guys on the next video.